if you actually know what you're doing, you should probably just fork up the money to get the nice programs. But if you don't know what you're doing, or you don't have money, here are some things you can use. Number one, Tinkercad. Now, I know what you're thinking. Isn't this for kids? Well, yeah, it is. But it's still a great tool. Tinkercad is a free browser-based 3D modeling application, which means you don't need to download anything to use it, which is nice if you have a Chromebook. Hashtag, don't get a Chromebook. It's mostly drag and drop and actually has a lot of limitations, but if you just want to build simple things or you're very new to 3D modeling, it's a pretty good option. Number two, one, two, three D. I will remember you. Will you remember me? Number three, Onshape. Onshape is a cloud CAD program that you can make an account for free to SolidWorks, or so I've been told. The whole point of Onshape is that you can share and collaborate with other people. So the free version limits you by not letting you do this, so you pay for their program. But if you don't have any friends like me, it's not really an issue. The last one I'm gonna throw in here is Inkscape. Now, Inkscape isn't a 3D modeling program. It's actually a vector graphics program. I actually really like it for graphic design stuff. But it's also useful because you can make SVGs, export them, and then send them to a 3D modeling program to extrude. When I first started modeling stuff, I would build things in Inkscape and then send it over to Tinkercad and then extrude it up and then I'd have my 3D model. It's kind of a janky way to do it, but it works. So there you are, four modeling programs that are free that you can use to build stuff.